If you've done a Google search on a specific keyword phrase, you may have noticed that some of the Google search results show somebody's picture or their logo. And this is a great way to brand yourself and your company. So in this specific video, I'm going to show you exactly how to show your Google Plus profile picture in the Google search results. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we can actually implement this, you will need to edit your Google Plus profile and add a picture. So if you don't have a Google Plus account, go ahead and create one, fill in the basic profile and add a picture. Now, there are two ways to implement this. You can either install a plugin, which I'll show you the plugin that you can use, or if the plugin does not work for you, you can edit your themes header.php file. I'm going to show you both ways, so let's go ahead and get started. So if I head on over to wordpress.org, as you can see here, and I go under plugins, I'm going to do a search for a specific plugin called the Google Plus Author Information. Click on search plugins, and this is the specific plugin. And I wanted to show you this so you can have an idea of what it looks like. So you'll notice that you have the search results, the description, and the picture. So this is what I'm going to be showing you in this specific video how to do. It's actually very easy. The first thing you can either do is, of course, install the plugin. If that doesn't work for you, I'm going to show you a different route. So what you need to do now is simply head on over to your WordPress dashboard click on plugins, click on add new, do a search for that specific plugin, the Google plus author information. And this is it. We can go ahead and install now, click okay. Go through the process of installing the plugin by entering your FTP username and password, click proceed. And we'll click on activate plugin. Now that we have activated the plugin, we can begin to edit the settings. So under settings, you'll see Google plus author. All right. So under settings, the first thing you're going to need to do is of course, add the Google profile link to your user account. So if you click on this, you'll see that it actually has the instructions. So what you need to do is simply grab this link here. So I'm going to do that now. If we click on this link and you're logged into your Google Plus or Google or Gmail account, you will be able to get this information. So I've logged into my Google Plus account and you'll notice at the very top here, this is what I need. Everything before the word posts, that's what I need. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to the WordPress site. I'm going to go under users and then I'm going to click on edit for that user. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll notice it says Google plus author link. So basically just enter that here, click on update profile. And of course there's one more thing that you'll need to do. Go back to settings under Google plus author. And it says to go to this link and basically add a custom link. The custom link is basically going to go back to your main URL. So your .com name. So click on this. And of course it says add custom link. So click on add custom link and just enter the URL of your domain name. And that's it. So click save and that's all you have to do. You can edit the settings here and it says not every theme shows the author link right beside a page or an article. In this case, you need to activate the link to be included after the content. So it says replace the author link with the Google profile URL. But in this case, I'm going to leave everything as it is. 
we can click on test the latest post or page. So obviously you're going to need some posts or pages. Since I do not have any, I'm going to go ahead and add a page. And then I'm going to go back to the settings here and click on test the latest post or page. And that's it. Now, if that doesn't work for you, uh, there's another way to go about doing this, but you have to edit your header.php file. To do that, if you go under appearance and you click on editor, you're going to need to edit the header.php file. Now, for some of you, you won't be able to actually edit the header.php file. So you're going to have to activate the built-in theme editor to do that. To do that, what you need to do is log into your site using FileZilla FTP program and basically just change the permissions of that specific file. So if you don't have an FTP program, you need to go ahead and Google FileZilla and then enter your FTP web hosting information here and simply edit the file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to connect to my domain name. You're going to locate the files, which in this case, you'll need to go under your theme files. So it's going to be under wp-content themes the specific theme that you're using and you'll notice that in the main root folder you'll be able to find the header.php file so we're going to change the file permissions to 777 click ok we're going to go back to the dashboard here and refresh the page and you can see that you're able to edit the header.php file Now that you do that, we basically need to locate the header or the head tag. So you're going to see the word head right here. So we got the greater than and less than sign in the head and then the head file here. So we basically need to copy this code between this and this. So I'm going to copy it at the very end and you can pause this video if you want to so that you can actually just copy this code here so pause the video now if you can just copy the code here and basically your Google Plus profile needs to be located here and when you're done just simply click on update file and then Go back to FileZilla and change the permissions for header.php back to 755. That way you secure your site and you're good to go. That's it.